Hello, Tropical Fish Keepers. Welcome to another Species Profile right here, live on my YouTube channel, live on Aqua Alex Live. I'm your host, Monster Fish Keeper and South American Fish Keeper, Aqua Alex Cardinelli. But in reality, you should call me Sarah Salmadi, Alex Cardinelli, because it seems that I love fish from the Sarah Salmadi family. More specifically, the silver dollar fish, like red hook silver dollars, black bars, common silver dollars, etc. And I also love Paku and Piranha. Now, I have kept a majority of the Sarah Salmadi species. I have kept red hook silver dollars. I have kept black bar silver dollars. I've kept regular mentinous, spotted mentinous. I've kept red belly piranha, caribe piranha. There are a couple of species of Sarah Salmadi that elude me, and they are very rare species of my list, a couple of different species of mentinous and a couple of species of Paku. Now, for many years, the species that I'm going to talk about today has eluded me. But in 2021, I was able to get my hands on a group of them. And you're going to see them later on on today's show. You know, growing up, I was big into silver dollars. I was big into red hooks, black bars, mentinous, and this species that I'm going to talk about, I always wanted. I remember seeing it on a National Geographic South America Amazon documentary. I started studying it, and I really wanted it in my aquarium. But this species is kind of rare in the home aquarium. It's a very popular food fish, but it's kind of hard to find in the home aquarium. And that species is Mylosoma silver dollars. Now, think about it. This is a really big silver fish. It has the color of a silver dollar and the body of a paku. It's got the silver and the anal fin of a mentinous, but the body of a paku. Pretty cool fish. And they grow decent size. They can reach the size of a dinner plate, so around 9 to 12 inches. And I remember going into the fish stores in western Massachusetts and driving my friend Ed Picard nuts about getting mylosoma, but he wasn't able to find them. And it wasn't until 2021 that I was able to get my first mylosoma. But after a year of owning them, I loved them. The Mylosoma are one of my favorite Sarasomidae for many reasons, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So today I'm going to give you some interesting facts on the Mylosoma. I'm going to talk about keeping and caring for them in the home aquarium. I'm going to share some images and videos of other fish keepers Mylosoma and much more. And I'm going to start this video in just a second with a video of my current mylosoma. So if you have any questions or comments on the mylosoma, please post them in the comments and I will answer them. Now let's get this exciting species profile started. And we're going to start it the way I start all of my species profiles the right way.
All righty, so those are my two mylosoma that I am currently keeping right now. The first video was taken last week, and the second video and image were taken today. So as you can see, they have the body of like a silver dollar and the Paku. They have the color of a silver dollar, but they get the size of a miniature Paku reaching 9 to 12 inches. And as you can see, they school with my Mylius. They school with my red hooks and my black bars. And they look awesome with other types of silver dollars. So the first thing I want to talk about is what drew me into mylosoma and why i like mylosoma well first it's their size i like that they are large growing and the fact that they don't grow to two feet like the red belly paku or the black paku they grow to a more manageable nine to twelve inches which is great for someone that has a six foot aquarium so basically, they grow to the same size as a red hook or a black bar silver dollar, which is pretty cool. The next thing that I like about them is that they're a unique Cirrosomidae that not every fish keeper has. Why? Well, not every fish store can get them, and they're not commonly imported for whatever reason. They are very popular, they're very abundant in South America, but they're not imported into the aquarium hobby enough, in my opinion. They're primarily food fish in South America, unfortunately. But another reason I like the Mylosoma is that they're a true omnivore, meaning they will eat both meats and vegetables, and they actually need vegetables in their diet to get that dark orange coloration you see on the mylosoma behind me. So you, you can feed them lettuce, chopped up vegetables, um, things like that, and it will bring out their coloration. So those are the reasons that I like mylosoma. Now let's get into some of the interesting facts about this gorgeous fish. Did you know Mylosoma are found both in main river sections and floodplains. They support important fisheries, and based on a review by IBAMA, they are the seventh most caught fish by weight in South America. Like I said earlier, they're a popular food fish, unfortunately. But I have noticed that more and more exotic fish shops are getting um baby juvenile mylosomas and that's because mylosomas are now being bred for the aquarium hobby but the problem with that is when they come into the fish stores they're an inch and a half two inches and for someone like me that has a big tank with decent sized fish i would have to set up another tank to grow them out but like the pakus these guys are fast growers, so that works to their advantage. Did you know mylosoma are known as hard belly, silver dollar, and silver paku because they look like a silver dollar but have a wider, thicker body like a paku, and they can get to 12 inches in length. It really depends on the mylosoma. There are a couple of different species with the smallest being nine inches and the largest being about 16 inches. But the two that are most likely to enter the aquarium hobby are Mylosoma RM and Mylosoma Duri Ventry. I'm pretty sure I botched their scientific names, but those are the two that enter the aquarium hobby. And I believe it is the Mylosoma Dura Ventry that are being bred in um, South American farms for the aquarium hobby. Did you know mylosoma are omnivores? Juvenile mylosoma eat insects and crustaceans. And as they get older, they eat fruits and seeds. Now, if you watch a National Geographic doc documentary on the fish that live in the Amazon River, 
you will see mylosoma munching on nuts and fruits along with the beloved tumbaki paku. So the mylosomas are a true omnivorous fish. And in the aquarium hobby, they will just about eat anything, which is really cool because they are an awesome fish. And my last did you know fact on the mylosoma, and we've touched base on this a little bit. Did you know mylosoma are very popular food fish and are very common in South America, but unfortunately they are somewhat rare in the aquarium hobby. But places like Predatory Fins, Malone's Monsters, and Aquatic Rarities are bringing in wild-caught specimens. And as a matter of fact, my buddy Bob at Aquatic Rarities has some five to six inch mylosomas going for $75 right now. So the two mylosomas that I have currently, I got at my local fish store labeled as regular silver dollars at two inches for $6. But me being a serosomidide freak, I knew that they were not regular mentinous and I quickly scooped them up. So that is how I got my two mylosoma right now. So let's get into our care guide, shall we? The scientific name for this species of fish, one of the two species, you're either going to have a mylosoma erem or a mylosoma deriventri. Those are the scientific names. The common names for this fish, there are a plethora of different common names out there. You've got hard-bellied paku, hard-bellied silver dollar, and silver paku. Um, they're pretty much like a mixture of a silver dollar and a paku. I wouldn't go as far as to calling them either one, but they're both very cool fish. Now let's learn about the origin of these beautiful serosomidae. So the origin, you could find mylosoma all over South America from tropical and subtropical South America, including the basins of the Amazon, Orinoco, Lake Maracabal, and Paraguay Piranha. So they're all over South America. And they're really uh, plentiful availability in South America. You can find a lot of them in South America. They're really abundant there. So their full growing size is anywhere from 8 to 12 inches, depending on the species whether you have a mylosoma aureum or a mylosoma duraventry, it's going to depend on how big your mylosoma gets. But you can bet your bottom dollar that the mylosoma will grow to the size of a dinner plate, 8 to 12 inches, and they are a schooling fish. So you're going to need to take that into consideration. Unlike the pakus that can live by themselves, the mylosoma will need other mylosoma and while they can live with other serosomonide species like the Mylius or the Mentinus, you're going to want to keep them with other mylosomas so they can feel more secure. But with this fish reaching 8 to 12 inches, that does seem to become a problem. So my recommended aquarium size for the mylosoma silver dollar would be 90 gallons and larger actually i think a six foot aquarium would be best so a 125 gallon to start and then work your way up because this fish is a very active fish it eats a lot and it definitely needs its space and it needs to be kept in schools because these guys grow awesome they grow fast and they look awesome. So we're going to try to keep them happy by giving them a big aquarium. Now, as far as aquarium go, aquarium care goes, they're very similar to their Mylius and Mentinus brethren. They require a pH that is neutral anywhere from 6.8 to 7.4 would be appreciated by the Mylosoma. 
You can have driftwood and other caves in there for your other fish to hide in. Your mylosoma will appreciate the chances of swimming through the driftwood. If you have like a big driftwood sticking up like I do in my aquarium. Um, I would recommend having plastic plants as your mylosoma will find comfort in plastic plants and they'll easily hide among them if they are stressed. And you definitely want to keep these guys in a shoal. And a shoal is basically a small school. You can do two of them. You can do three of them or four of them, depending on how many you can get your hands on. Because like I said, these can be quite rare. But if you get your hands on them, keep them and raise them into adulthood because these are a gorgeous fish. And you're going to love a true mylosoma now later on in today's video i'm going to show you images and videos of other fish keepers mylosoma so luckily for me i am not the only one to have experience in this fish these are very very gorgeous silver dollars all right right now we're going to go ahead and take our short commercial which is being brought to us by Jeremy Stellhorn, the founder of Little Egypt Aquarium Club. Little Egypt Aquarium Club is home to some quality aquarium supplies, such as sponge filters and driftwood, as well as fish food, such as rapashi and other high quality fish food. When we come back from commercial, we're going to talk about the diet of the mylosoma silver dollar. We'll talk about tank mates and we'll see those images and videos of this gorgeous fish. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, everybody. The following message is brought to you by Jeremy Stellar and Little Egypt Aquarium Club. Get our awesome aquarium products and find out how to save 10% using coupon code Alex. Hello I am Brandy Cardinale the Beagle. I'm here to introduce Aqua Alex and he has a special message. He's going to tell you a place where to get high quality aquarium supplies and how to save 10%. Hey everybody, Aqua Alex Cardinale here. I've got a very special announcement for you. My buddy Jeremy Stellhorn has an online business called Little Egypt Aquarium Club that specializes in aquarium supplies such as driftwood and gecko cave and also tropical fish food. Little Egypt Aquarium Club provides aquarium hobbyists with the specialized tropical fish food and aquarium supplies. I personally recommend Rapashi Tropical Fish Food. Little Egypt Aquarium Club has plenty of Rapashi. You can find Rapashi Community Plus for all your community fish. And you can even find Rapashi Morning Wood for your Royal Plecos and your Panicu Plecos that need wood in their diet. LittleEgyptAquariumClub.com, your home for all sorts of aquarium supplies and tropical fish food. Be like Aqua Alex and purchase Rapashi for your aquarium fish. I have predatory fish and even they themselves love Rapashi. And get this. I, Aqua Alex Cardinelli, love saving money when I buy quality aquarium products. I'm here to help you save money. So when you purchase from LittleEgyptAquariumClub.com, I'm going to give you a discount code so that you can save 10%. All you need to do at checkout is use coupon code ALEX to save 10% on your order. That's right, to save 10% on your order, just use coupon code ALEX. LittleEgyptAquariumClub.com 
every purchase helps talk with Alex, and it will help you as well. So go to littleegyptexperienceclub.com, place an order, and use the coupon code Alex to get 10% off. Now, back to the Tropical Fish Chat. Welcome back to Aqua Alex Live and this week's species profile. Today I am talking about a rare Sarasomonae from South America known as the Mylosoma. Technically, it's a silver dollar, but many people consider it to be a Paku because it looks like a Paku. It grows 8 to 12 inches, but it has the silver coloration which is awesome and before our commercial break we talked about some interesting facts about this fish we talked about their scientific name their common names how big they get and how large of an aquarium you will need to keep them and you, i also showed off my current mylosoma now we're going to talk about diet for the mylosoma and we'll talk about tank mates and then i'll show off fish keepers Mylosoma. So, as I said earlier on in the show, the Mylosoma are omnivorous, meaning they enjoy both meat and vegetable matter. So, in the aquarium hobby, when we are taking care of Mylosoma, we want to be observant that these fish are omnivorous. As juveniles in the wild, they eat insects and crustaceans. So having that knowledge, I recommend feeding raw market shrimp as well as krill. My two mylosoma love raw market shrimp and they also love krill. They go ham on it. So I definitely recommend uh, supplying that in their diet. Now you could also do tilapia and earthworms. I'm sure that they eat that so you could also supply high quality pellets like new life spectrum omega-1 um hakari has some good pellets and frozen food is great for their diet as well food like hakari frozen blood worms hakari spirina brine shrimp hakari uh, maesta shrimp etc and for the uh, vegetables in their diet, you could do things like lettuce, cucumber, spinach, and spirulina, brine shrimp would be great. So just like all silver dollars and pakus, the mylosoma should not have a problem eating. They love to eat and they pretty much will eat just about anything you offer them. So you should not have a problem feeding them. So now let's talk about tank mates for the mylosoma. And this is really easy because this fish can live with just about anything. Now, while the mylosoma will grow nine to 12 inches in length, that does not mean that this fish is a natural born fish killer. It is not ferocious like a piranha or a wolf fish or any other aggressive South American fish. But in saying that, I certainly wouldn't trust this fish with neon tetras, cardinal tetras, or rummy nose tetras. We want to keep this fish with size appropriate fish. So some good tank mates would include Oscars, other serosomonides like Mylius, Mentinus, or Paku in a large enough tank. Semiprochilotus flagtails would be a great tank mate. Um, other great cherisons would be the pink tail Chelsius, Leporinus. Um, let's see, what else is out there? The Colombian tetras, Bonus Aries tetras. Um, those are some ideas for cherisons. Other large growing cherisons. Cichlids like Oscars, chocolates, angels, um, severums, red terror, fieste would be great. Datnoids, 
managuants, etc. So other large growing fish would be good tank baits for the mylosoma. All right, now it's time to see how beautiful this fish can be. It's time for the images and photos of other fish keepers, mylosoma. So let's get right into it. And we're gonna start with images and then we'll get to our videos. So here is a uh, sub-adult mylosoma. As you can see, it's got the silver dollar body, but it's shaped like a paku. Very, very cool. So we're going to show some love to Aqua Mojo and show off his mylosoma. Look how beautiful this mylosoma is. Very, very pretty and gorgeous fish. I love the orange around the eye. Here is another picture from Aqua Mojo. And look how beautiful this one is. See, I told you, it's got like the silver dollar color, but its body resembles a Paku. The scales look Paku-ish, and the size looks Paku-ish. Very cool fish. And thank you, Aqua Mojo, for posting those photos. They're awesome. Here is a juvenile mylosoma that has been caught somewhere in South America. Very, very cool. And this is a mylosoma, I assume, that was taken at a local aquarium or zoo. Very, very cool, pretty fish. I love the look of this mylosoma. Very, very cool. Now I'm going to play the two videos that I have for you on today's species profile. The first video is actually my video. I own this video, and this was published right here on this YouTube channel last year. This is the video where I had a whole group of mylosoma, but unfortunately, I lost these guys in July last year. And in July, the city of Lake Worth likes to bleach our water, so they add all sorts of chemicals to our water and I did not know that last year and when I went to do a water change and I refilled with tap water and I was at a prime I lost my entire tank last year unfortunately but this was the very first time that I had my Lasoma silver dollars so here is my video of my first my Lasoma. Awesome video, and I miss those mylosomas. I've got one more video for you, and this is a mylosoma that is schooling with some black bar silver dollars. Check it out.
right, so as you can see, the Mylosoma are a very cool Cerasomidae. And now it's time for my final remarks on this gorgeous fish. So one of the final remarks I want to leave you about Mylosoma is if you have a large tank and you're looking for something to add as a dither or something that's going to add a splash of color to your aquarium, definitely consider the Mylosoma. I think you're going to greatly appreciate the Mylosoma. They're Paku-like, so if you're looking for a miniature Paku, the Mylosoma is for you. I think you will greatly appreciate that. And they're omnivorous. They'll do a great job of eating anything that you offer them. So if you ever come across Mylosoma, I highly recommend that you get them because I think you will enjoy keeping and raising Mylosoma. I have enjoyed raising the two that I have currently, and I cannot wait to see them grow up into the monsters that I know that they can be. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. It's been an honor and a privilege to talk about Mylosoma Silver Dollars with all of you. It's not every day that I get to talk about a fish that is not introduced into the aquarium hobby enough or a fish that is rarely seen in the aquarium hobby. So I appreciate your view and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button. And if you have any questions on Mylosoma, post them in the comments and I will answer them. So next week, we're going to do another species profile. And next week, I'm going to talk about the giant garami, the monster fish keeper's favorite garami, and my personal favorite garami, the giant garami. So next week, join me as I talk about the giant garami. And don't forget to email your fish keeping questions. To Alex Go Yankees Cardinelli19 at gmail.com for the May 2022 Fish Keepers QA. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to it. Subscribe to the legendary Alex Cardinelli for all future episodes of Aqua Alex Live, my cooking videos, my baking videos, my crime videos, and more. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the aquarium hobby and happy fish keeping, everybody. Hey everyone, Aqua Alex here, owner and founder of Aquatic Wetline, inviting you to the second episode of Aquatic Wetline Fish Keepers Roundtable, hosted by me, Aqua Alex, and my co-host, Steve from Steve's Aquatic. Aquatic Wetline Fish Keepers Roundtable had a successful debut last month. And now we're ready for our second episode. The second episode of Aquatic Wetline Fish Keepers Roundtable airs live Tuesday, May 24, 2022 at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. It's going to be a fun time. Our special guest is once again going to be South and Central American Cichlid Keeper and Breeder, James Anthony. James Anthony loves his South and Central American Cichlids. Our topic is going to be our favorite South American Cichlids. James, Steve, and I will all talk about our favorite South American Cichlids. Will we have the same taste in South American cichlids, or will it be different? You're going to have to tune in to find out. 
We'll talk about how to care for these cichlids and more. It's going to be a fun time. And if you know me, you know I love South American fish and especially South American cichlids. Aquatic Wetline Fish Keepers Roundtable episode on South American cichlids airs live Tuesday, May 24th, 2022 at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, right here on the legendary Alex Cardinelli's YouTube channel, hosted by Aqua Alex and Steve from Steve's Aquatic, featuring South and Central American Pacific Keeper James Anthony. So we'll see you on Aquatic Cutline, May 24th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Hey fish keepers, it's Aqua Alex Cardinelli here. And I'm inviting you to be a part of the May 2022 Fish Keepers Q&A, where I, Aqua Alex Cardinelli, will answer your freshwater and saltwater tropical fish questions. The May 2022 Q&A airs live Sunday, May 22nd, 2022 at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, right here on Aqua Alex Live and the legendary Alex Cardinelli YouTube channel. I will answer any and all freshwater and saltwater tropical fish I have experience in both fresh water and salt water, and I look forward to answering your questions. So, email your tropical fish TV questions to Alex Godinelli at gmail.com. Get those questions in right now. So I can answer them on May 22nd on our Fish Keepers Q&A. Your questions can be in a video format. You can take a video in front of your aquarium asking your questions. Or you can just simply send me an email with your questions. Also, email me your photos and videos of your fish and aquarium so that I can show it off in the Fish on the Fish Keepers Q&A in 2022. So email your photos and videos of your fish and aquarium to alexgodinkycardinelli19 at gmail.com. This month I have some interesting topics for the Fish Keepers q and I'm going to talk about how to have a predatory community aquarium with aggressive fish and how to do it successfully like I do. I've got a black wolf living with an Annie Gwen cichlid, ostrich, etc. So I'm going to give you my best advice. And the second topic is going to be on treating and preventing it. And lastly, this book is going to be special because I am going to show off the fish that I got from exoticfish.net and from my local fish stores. So be sure to check that out. So the, 2020, the May 2022 Fish Keepers Q&A airs live Sunday, May 22nd at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Get those questions in now. Attend Hood! Sergeant Alex Cardinelli here, inviting you to be a part of the inaugural Memorial Day 2022 Bash, hosted by me, Sergeant Alex Cardinelli. The inaugural Memorial Day Bash airs live Monday, May 30th, 2022 
at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, right here on my YouTube channel, The Legendary Alex Cardinelli. The 2022 Memorial Day Bash is being hosted by me, Sergeant Alex Cardinelli. And on the Memorial Day 2022 Bash, I will discuss the history of Memorial Day and I will discuss why we celebrate Memorial Day. We're going to pay our respects to all the brave men and women out there fighting for us and this great country. USA! USA! Also on the inaugural Memorial Day Bash, I am going to address the veterans. Yes, that's right, Sergeant Alex Cardinelli is going to address the veterans. We're also going to have a very special guest. That's right, we're going to have a very special guest. Former Army member James Anthony will be our very first guest for the first time ever on a holiday bash. That's going to be incredible. So we're going to speak to a former Army member as we pay our respects to the United States of America men and women who serve in our Army and in our military. There's also going to be an appearance by Chef Alex Cardinelli. And Chef Alex is going to give you the best recipes to make for the veterans in your life. There will also be an appearance by Aqua Alex. And Aqua Alex will talk about how fish tanks can help veterans. And if Chef Alex and Aqua Alex don't do the right thing, I'm going to have to put them in the camel clocks and the cobra clocks. Maggots. So the inaugural Memorial Day 2022 bash goes down live Monday, May 30th, 2022. Live 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific on my YouTube channel, The Legendary Alex Cardinelli. Come join me as we pay our respects to the United States military men and women, all those who serve past or present. Don't be a maggot. Be there and be square. And let's pay respect to all the great military men and women. And that's an order. You're all dismissed.